So here we meet again. It is Thursday afternoon and what are you all up to? I just took some time just to reflect and pin down my thoughts and I had this light bulb moment that I thought I'd love to share with you. So you know we all are talking about change, change and change. And so I asked myself what happens if I don't change? And it's very interesting what came to mind is that if I don't change, I am recycling my past, thinking of all the negative experiences that have happened and, um, and that could be weighing me down. But if I harness my inner strength and look at my own goodness and move forward and strive to actually better myself, I will come out of the cycle because repetitive negative or past thoughts will eventually make me feel quite depressed and over a period of time if I linger in that de depressed way of thinking it can actually lead to suicide it can actually lead to ill health or it could actually lead to death and so today I just wanted to share with you that really one can come out of that cycle of living in the past. If you just think about this for a moment, a, a human embryo is within the mum for a nine month period of gestation. Now just think about it, nine months of incubation. And if you reflect on your life, and I have reflected on mine surely, from March to now we in November is exactly nine months. And so this incubation period that we all have been through, so much of realization has dawned, be it for ourselves, more time in prayer, meditation, self-realization, new ideas we're born, and a coming together of family. And if you think about it right now at this moment, what are some of the changes you are consciously making in your life? And the end of the nine months is where you give birth. It's a giving birth. It could be a baby. It could be a new project. It could be you just awakening to your real self. And that is a huge step forward, not to be taken lightly. So I'm so excited to be sharing with you actually nine practical tools that one could embark on to lead a fulfilled, happy, healthy life going forward. And so if you feel this has benefited you and you would love to learn more and explore yourself on a deeper level, because intrinsically we have the answers. It lies dormant within the self. And all we need is to tap into this inner reserve of quietness. And that's where a new you is born. And so join me next Friday for five days where we will explore nine practical tools to reemerge and have this rebirthing process begin with vigor and vitality. I surely am excited about this new way going forward. And if you think about it, it's so apt because we're in the 16 days of activism. We're in 16 days of this fight against child abuse, women abuse. And it's something interesting that I'd like you to think about that, you know, they say where your energy goes, thoughts go and your life will grow. And so for a moment, just stop and think about this. If we are continuously fighting and being quite forceful about what we really want, you're going to be fine. You're going to find that it's going to come back to you full force. And so it's interesting because positive and positive, negative and negative. But if I choose to now have a new approach and work from a peaceful base, which is tapping into the intrinsic goodness within I, the being, and bring out this resilient nature, you'll find that high level of energy, that high vibrational thought energy. It is actually our own protection. And if you can stand in that firm faith and 
trust that you are a powerful individual from a peaceful, positive energy, you will find that that will just eradicate the harshness coming from the outside. Um, I have seen personally in my life when challenges arose, and I've had many of those, um, especially with strong individuals, I had to just step within and ask myself, what is the energy I am giving outwardly to attract these challenges in my life? And um, I found that deep within there was some kind of frustration, some kind of anger, some kind of um, a feeling of, I think I know what's right. And uh, you know, these are the energies that blocks one from moving forward positively and having amicable relationships. So I'd like you to experiment with that, no matter what circumstance you may be in, whether it's abuse, whether it's verbally, emotionally, take a step back and ask yourself, what is it that's making me feel and attract this in my life? And it's only through self-acceptance, self-respect, can I now change this pattern and then life on the physical level will start changing. And no doubt it's a, um, it's a time period, it will not happen overnight, but I think collectively we can make a positive difference. So thank you again so much for joining me and um, this is my gift to you. The first lady that shares uh, their story and how this short experience you've had with me right now has triggered off an emotion and enhanced your positivity will receive a complimentary intuitive alignment session with me. Um, this will be a thank you from me because so much of positive things have unfolded and it's time actually to give back. So thank you again and we shall chat, chat soon. Lots and lots of love. Bye for now.